the CDC is looking at whether or not we should be wearing masks outdoors. Yeah, it's a lot of people asking that question. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Pertana joins us live tonight. After digging deeper into the science of masking outdoors, and when do doctors say you should mask up, Judith? Well, doctors, doctors say it really depends on a number of factors. Right now, North Carolina does have a mask mandate for outdoor settings like football stadiums when you can't stay six feet apart from people. But COVID-19 is known to spread more quickly and more likely indoors. So I asked one of our local experts why we're still wearing a mask outside. For many of us, face coverings are now part of our routine. Sometimes I forget to take it off when I'm in the car and I'll be driving. I'll be five minutes in. I go, oh, I still have my mask on, you know. She's fully vaccinated, but still opts to wear her mask in most places. Well, probably for a very long time, I think. We are headed to the beach. We're in the open ocean. Probably not. The CDC's guidance on masking outdoors still isn't definitive. It says masking outside may not be necessary. I'm very pregnant right now, so I'm actually wearing two right now. Just anything to keep the baby safe. A study from the Journal of Infectious Diseases found fewer than 10% of infections happened outside. It also found you're almost 20 times more likely to be infected indoors than outdoors. If I'm socially distanced, outside. I don't feel like I need them as much, um, especially if the CDC comes out with research that we don't need them. The CDC now considering whether masking is really necessary outside. Dr. Emily Sigbert Bennett, Director of Infection Prevention at UNC, says it depends on the situation. There are outdoor settings where you may find yourself in a crowded space and the mask then serves an important role in protecting you. She says risk is independent on the setting. Whether you're on a trail, a sporting event, or dining, there are key things to consider about masking outdoors. How many people, what close proximity they are to one another, and then how much time they might be spending in close contact. The more people in the group are vaccinated, the lower the risk. Things are not either safe or unsafe, but the measures we take are measures we take to make things safer. Dr. Sickbert Bennett says you should always carry a mask with you no matter what to make sure you're prepared for whatever situation you find yourself in. Now, the CDC does have mask guidance for gathering indoors between vaccinated and unvaccinated people. I have a breakdown of that online in my story at CBS17.com. Live in Wake Forest, I'm Judith Ratana, CBS17 News. All right, Judith, thank you for that update.